Hey guys, it's Denise with Print Aura. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove a background in Photoshop. So I have this really cool tree ring print design that I want to put on a white t-shirt. As it stands right now, there's this sort of muted gray brown background. If I just turn this in as is, this weird color would end up getting printed on the white t-shirt. I don't want that. I want the t-shirt color to be the background of the design. So in order to do that, all I need to do is go up to select, click all, go over to image, click copy, and then back up to image and click paste. So now I have two copies of the same image and I wanna go in and just delete the background. I know this seems like a pointless step, but I'll show you why it matters later. So now that we have our image, we need to go up to this wand selection tool and click the background. So now that I have the background selected, I want to come up to edit and clear the background. And that will give me just my design with no background. So if I get this printed out, it will print out with just these lines on top of whatever color shirt I want. So if you have a more complicated image or the lines aren't as clean as they are in this one, you really want to go in and make sure that everything you meant to delete got deleted and everything you wanted to keep stayed in the image. Because sometimes selecting things can go a little wonky. They can miss little tiny dots out here. You never know, so just really pay attention and make sure it's clean and it's exactly how you want it to look. So I told you guys that I would go back and explain to you why we had to copy and paste the image and then delete the background. So I want you to really pay attention to this checkerboard background. The checkerboard means that there is no background. So let's go back a couple steps. Okay, so here's a flat image. This is exactly what we started with. A lot of people make the mistake of having their image and just thinking, okay, I just need to get rid of the background. So all I have to do is just click the background and clear it. And then I'm good to go because there's no background, right? Wrong. The, all this did was make the background white. If you wanted to print this out on a blue shirt or a purple shirt, this whole white box would show up. So what you really want is that checkerboard in the background. Um, I'll show you again just if I reverse these colors and I make my background color black. If I select this and then I go to clear it, it's just going to turn it black. So this doesn't do what we want it to do. You have to go through the extra steps of copying it and pasting it and deleting the background. So as long as you remember those simple steps and you remember that you need to see the checkerboard if you want there to be no background, you'll be good to go. All right, I hope this video helped you guys. See you soon. Bye.